Good afternoon, this is Jason Robinson with RJG. Welcome back to the RJG YouTube channel. Thanks for watching. If you're interested in getting your process under control, having less downtime, and having faster troubleshooting skills, then you're in the right place. Here are four ways the Copilot can help you reduce cost. The first step in having your process in control is having the machine conditions in the proper in the proper place. So many people have a paper setup sheet. But how many times have you ever had a problem and spent hours, maybe even days, troubleshooting the process only to find out that the machine is not running to the standard setup? Well, this is another way that the Copilot can assist. So the Copilot can give a, a nice visual indicator. If you can see right here, I have a, an, an alarm set on the cushion, the cycle time, and the back pressure. So right now you can see these are green and that's indicating that those are set and they are within the alarm parameters. Now this can be seen in, a, in, in this format or the overall screen in a few minutes will turn just to a blank, uh, a green saying parts are in match or processes in match. And that's based off your alarm settings. So from an overhead view walking down the floor, you can see if it's green, things are at least running to the machine setup. If it's red, that means something is not. If you dive in further to get to this screen, then you can see exactly what is out. So the first step is putting it back to the setup sheet. That is troubleshooting technique 101. Um, now this information can also be seen from the hub, which is a central uh, piece of software viewed from a web browser that can view all of the co-pilots. And you can see this from your office. It's, uh, you can even see this from your home. So that's another benefit, remote access. So this is visible from anywhere you're at that you have access to the network that these co-pilots and these hubs are on. Whenever a new lot number of plastic is brought to the machine to continue running parts, we all run the risk of that, the viscosity of that batch of material shifting higher or lower. So th that is not something that's super obvious to us. So that is another benefit of the co-pilot. The co-pilot actually monitors effective viscosity. It monitored, monitors it on something called the summary graph. So if you look at the summer graph in front of you now, you can see it was pretty stable for most of the time. And then over here to the right, you can see the viscosity tend to drop off. So things that a lower viscosity would, would, would make happen, it would make, uh, it would make more plastic flow into the mold with the same machine settings. So just being aware that we did receive a new lot and we are using that, that lot now is a good heads up for us as technicians so we can make the appropriate um, compensations on the machine to deal with the new lot of material. Some other things that could, that could happen would be maybe we didn't dry the material as long or as, as well as we should have previously or in some cases we can over dry the material and the effective viscosity uh, data from the co-pilot can help us be aware of that and at least know what the root cause is and rem remedy the cause or adjust the machine parameters to work around it. Some other things will be certain types of colorant. Colorant can change the viscosity of plastic. Maybe it's just a whole new, whole new batch coming in. And again, this can save you lots of time and time is money. You're talking machine downtime, or even worse, the machine running parts, but they're all bad. And the time it takes for someone to come over um, and identify the root cause can, be, can take a lot of time. But with the Copilot, that information is given to you. You could even set alarms around what your high and low viscosity should be on the Copilot, and if it violates those parameters on the high or the low end, it'll reject those parts and make you aware as a technician. The first step in getting your process running correctly is getting the machine settings back to where the standard setup is supposed to be. Now, how many times have you ever put the setup parameters in the molding machine and you don't always have the same part? I have. So this has happened to all of us from time to time. So the true, true process conditions are what happens inside the part itself. Um, the plastic experience is what I like to say. So that is where the true power of the Copilot can help out. So we can monitor, monitor the machine settings, the, all the inputs you would type in at the controller. But also the, the real benefit is monitoring the in cavity pressure conditions. So we can put cavity pressures throughout the part, temperature sensors. We can monitor the water flow, um, the temperature, the steel, the, 
the temperature of water, the gallons per minute of the water. So every now and then we put the machine settings back to where they need to be and the parts just aren't quite where they, where they need to be. So usually that could be some type of material difference, um, could be difference in the tooling, maybe it hasn't been cleaned in a while. Some type of auxiliary equipment maybe has been swapped around, there's something different. And bottom line is these machine settings aren't making the same part that they used to be. So we can use the co-pilot to dive into what we call MIV variables. So these are the machine independent variables, um, the volumetric flow rate, the temperature of the steel, the peak cavity pressure, the flow rate of the plastic through the cavity. And we can monitor all that with the co-pilot in a graphical format. And some of those can be monitored in just pure numbers. So, and we can create a template. So a template would be the very visual that you can see that would tell you at a glance if, if the cavity pressure conditions are where they were when this mold was making good parts previously. So something I like to say is that constant machine conditions usually make the same parts, but not always. What does always make the same parts is the same plastic conditions. So if we look over here on the co-pilot, I'm gonna look at things like the actual peak cavity pressure in the part itself. I'm gonna look at the volume of plastic, not the, not the stroke of the screw, but the volume of plastic, how many cubic inches or cubic centimeters have been put into the part and how many are getting put in there now. We can look at the velocity of the screw, the temperature of the steel before the plastic enters the cavity and the temperature of the steel after the plastic hits that particular part of the cavity. We do that by use of a small thermocouple that's implanted into the mold. We would call this template matching. So template matching is getting the cavity pressure conditions back to where they need to be. You can template match to the machine settings and or the cavity pressure conditions and having the cavity pressure conditions will really make our troubleshooting much quicker than normal and will reduce that downtime, reduce the, that length of time that you're making bad parts. Another big benefit of the Copilot system is rejecting off of cavity pressure conditions. So let's talk about short shots, for example. Probably the number one or the number two defect in the molding, injection molding industry. So by rejecting off what's actually happening in the cavity, so if this tensile bar were to short shot, we would, we would ideally have a sensor right out here where the short shot occurs, or as close as possible. If the plastic fails to make it to that area of the part, the pressure will most likely be zero, and definitely always be lower if it doesn't make it to zero. So, but the machine settings may be set perfectly fine. Um, so by setting high and low limits around that end of cavity sensor, it can give you peace of mind that in that box of a thousand, 5,000 or even 10,000 pieces, you don't rely, have to rely on a person to come by and find that part when most of them are good. So worst case scenario, your customer finds that part. That can be very costly and de detrimental to the future business for that customer. The other option is to pay someone 24 seven to sit at a table and 100% inspect these parts. As we all know, that can be very expensive. The other thing that we need to be aware of that 100% sorting parts visually is probably 80% effective at best. So even then, your confidence can't be really high that a short shot is not gonna make it past that person putting them in the, in the good, good parts box. So powerhouse use of the co-pilot. Set high and low limits around your, your, your short shot potential. And before this mold even opens, the co-pilot system has already read that pressure determine whether it's in spec between the high and low limits. And if it's out of that range, it'll be sending a 10 volt signal to your automation equipment, to your reversing conveyor or to your part diverter to reject that part. And that signal is coming before the mold even opens. So I don't know about you, but that, would, that gives me a good peace of mind that if I do occasionally make a bad part here or there, short shot specifically, that I'm gonna catch that and it's gonna go in the red a reject bin behind the machine rather than in my parts of good box of good parts.